In a bid to enhance the ease of doing business and eliminate multiple taxation, River State Governor Yeso Mezonwike on Monday flagged off the River State Tax Management, Rif Tamis. The governor also launched the issuance of River State Tax Identification Number, Rifting, and received the first rifting card from the executive chairman of River State Internal Revenue Service, Mr. Adwege Noti. Speaking at the flag off of Rif Tamis and Rifting, Governor Wike said that the innovations are part of his administration's commitment to entrenching platforms for the ease of doing business. As part of government's drive to improve the ease of doing business, creates a more conducive environment for businesses and enhance service delivery in River State. He said that the new tax reforms packages will identify all formal and informal businesses in the state, noting that the details will help the state government plan for development. The processes are the River State Tax Management Information System, with Tamis, and the River State Tax Identification Number, RIFT. Both are designed and intended to enable the state to identify all the businesses, both formal and informal, that are operating in the state, the sectors they are operating, the staff they have in their employ, the needs of the businesses to thrive, and other details that will enable the state adequately plan for their growth. According to the governor, with the digital platforms, tax payments can be made from anywhere. For the 1st of April 2018, all businesses and individuals doing businesses in River State in both the formal and informal sectors are required to obtain and use their rifted River State tax application number to make any payments to River State government. All banks operating in the state have also been mobilized to generate rifting for all those who want to make one payment or the other to the state government without a rifting. It is important to emphasize that any business that fails to comply with this directive on or before the 1st of June 2018 will be appropriately sanctioned. Chairman of River State Internal Revenue Service, Mr. Adoege Noti, said the tax place has been sanitized to check multiple taxation. The tax place has been sanitized. The idea is to avoid double taxation and other things that were impediments. He said that the process will facilitate the tax payment process, enhance self-service and improve the revenue of the state. So you can stay, house, stay in your house or in, the, in your offices and make tax payment and be able to apply for tax clearance and obtain your tax clearance without going to the office and you can ask for tax exemptions and so on. The River State Internal Revenue Service Chairman said that the taxpayer has a duty to reciprocate the tax friendliness of the state government. So if government has done that one, it means that the taxpayer has a duty to embrace that friendliness. Otherwise, after a point, it becomes necessary to apply some sanctions and make sure that everyone pays. President of the Potakot Chambers of Commerce, Mines and Industry, Mr. Emmy Membery Otaji, said that the business community is pleased by the innovations that have eliminated multiple taxation. Oftentimes we have cried to you because of multiple taxation and the ways of administration and you assured us that you would do something. So what we are witnessing today is something that is very uh, pleasing to us. Uh, uh, very, very uh, pleasing to us. Tax harmonization and then the tax uh, management system. Spokesman of Heritage Bank, Mr. F.B. Briggs, assured the state government that banks will cooperate to ensure that the program succeeds. On what is involved, on what, what the bank's part to, will be when the, th when the system kicks off by next month, what we are going to do to seamlessly ensure that these things succeed and the taxpayers are serviced through our windows very, very effectively. High point of the occasion was the presentation of rifting to Governor Wiki and selected commissioners and special advisors.